Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of The Topping Show is proudly sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and service company with a special proficiency IT security. Heck, I see the founder at least twice a day. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner, you can reach out to the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also, try and get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So, if you can click that button and tell your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the business part of the podcast, you have Hobby Lobby increasing their minimum wage yet again. They're perhaps best known for being closed on Sundays and being a faith-based hobby organization. One of those things where it's fascinating to see the cultural shift in the United States. I mean, decades ago, pretty much every business was closed on Sunday. I mean, shoot, at the time, hugely controversial when 7-Eleven, the convenience chain, was actually open seven days a week for 11 hours. I mean, a lot of people didn't even believe that actually happened at first. But with Hobby Lobby... They have been a stalwart of, you know, keeping the Sabbath day sacred. And it's one of the few stores that's still closed on Sunday. And impressively enough, it does better than most of, comp- most of the competitors, even though they're also closed on Sunday. Very similar to Chick-fil-A. Now, let's come to us thanks to MLive.com, which is a website, or rather a news reporting out of Michigan. And they say specifically, quote, This retailer just raised its minimum wage to $19.25 per hour. Jeez Louise, that is, as youth must say, legit or lit. Or tight. Something to that effect. Which, that is pretty damn good. Now, they say, quote, A national retailer is the latest to raise its minimum hourly wage. Effective October 1st, so a little retroactive. Hobby Lobby raised its minimum wage, full-time hourly wage from $19 to $25. Hours, an increase in the 13th minimum wage boost by the craft store in 15 years, which is exceptionally good. And Hobby Lobby founder David Green, who is also the CEO, says, quote, A pillar of our success is taking care of our employees. For decades, we have closed our stores on Sundays and at 8 p.m. the rest of the week to help employees balance their work and personal lives and have time to rest with family and worship. We work hard to provide some of the best wages and benefits in retail, which allow us to attract and retain a great team of associates to serve our loyal customers. You noted that the chain also offers medical, prescription, dental plans, 401k with company match, which is ridiculously good. It's one of the few things I miss from corporate America. They also offer... Flexible spending plan, long-term disability benefits, life insurance, vacation pay, sick and personal leave, holiday pay, chaplain services, and employee discounts. Wow, the number of locations actually continues to increase. They say, of course, founded in 1972. They now operate 1,035 stores across the United States, which is pretty darn impressive. And I always joke, I kind of joke that I built my tech company on Hobby Lobby because they used to go to, like, what was it, six to seven different stores with a coupon so I can get the discount on the four-pack of clock movements. And I would take those, and I took those clock moments, I'd drill a hole into a circuit board, and I'd drop it off for prospective clients and talk about how, you know, you, you didn't make a lot of money doing it. It's not the core of what we did, but we do IT recycling services, and I helped get our foot in the door, so to say. And truth be told, if you want to learn more about Hobby Lobby, one of my favorite retail books that I let, read last year was More Than a Hobby by David Green. I had to reference my bookshelf over there. And, I mean, last year I read pretty much as many books as I could on retail founders. This year is more about automotive. Let me know if you have any interest in me putting that in the you know description of the video, or if you want me to do like a cliche book of the month, you know, summary. Let me know in the comments, because as always, be fascinated here what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, so if you can click that button, I'd really appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, hey, Enemies, anyone and everyone, just stay safe and fight the good fight.